all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel we're talking about the las vegas raiders in tonight's video because antonio pierce the head coach just named Gardner Minshew the starting quarterback for the 2024 regular season um it's a shock but it's not a surprise or however that saying goes because aiden o'connell was the starter to end the season last year right he went five and five as the starter um and he did a really solid job he threw eight touchdowns zero interceptions in the final month of the season and they brought in Gardner Minshew on a two-year contract to be kind of this bridge guy but you know Antonio Pierce continued to say before training camp officially began a couple of weeks ago or kind of like a month ago now that Aiden O'Connell was the starting quarterback but it really never felt like at any point in the offseason that Aiden O'Connell had like an edge over Gardner Minshew. It kind of always felt like the reports, what we were hearing from, whether it was the coaching staff or, you know, journalists and reporters, it kind of always felt like Gardner Minshew had just a slight edge above Aiden O'Connell. And unfortunately, yesterday, I will say, I don't think either quarterback looked good. I don't think either quarterback has really looked that great at any point in preseason. We've only been two weeks in. Aiden O'Connell, what, he only got one drive last week. He took a sack in the red zone, which really sucks. Uh, but Gardner Minshew yesterday against Dallas, 10 to 21, 91 yards, zero touchdowns, zero interceptions. Um, should have kind of had an interception, not to get you know real picky here, but you know, probably should have had a pick six. And then Aiden O'Connell obviously did have a pick six, but he went 14 to 20 for 96 yards, one touchdown, one interception. I'm upset because I really thought Aiden O'Connell was just going to win the job. And I was just kind of hoping all offseason that all this Gardner Minshew, the starting quarterback talk was hearsay. So welcome back to the channel. We're talking about the Las Vegas Raiders, obviously, in tonight's video. But before we do, if you guys enjoy it, hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content, along with daily Raiders videos. If you try and get this video, 250 likes, that would be dope. Um, it just... It, the reason it sucks to me is because of Aiden O'Connell. Like, I just wanted him to win that job. I thought he was going to win that job pretty easily because of what he showed us at the end of his rookie season. But, folks, when you look into it, you know, I'm not upset that Gardner Minshew is going to be the starting quarterback because, you know, first off, we probably knew that Aiden wasn't going to be a franchise guy. And, you know, he can always come in through an injury. Um, the Raiders aren't, you know, obviously going to trade or release him, most likely, you know, at the up upcoming offseason. But, you know, yeah, you know, this time next year, or, you know, nine months from now, we'll probably be talking about the Raiders first round draft pick and free agent quarterbacks. I think Gardner has a lower ceiling, but he's got a higher floor, if that makes sense. And when you look at just the business and the logistics and just unfortunately the reality of the National Football League and the reality of the Las Vegas Raiders situation, you have a brand new head coach. Uh, yeah, he was the interim head coach and he went five and four last year, but he's fighting for his job here. Um, you're the GM, you're the owner. I mean, it doesn't matter. Everyone's fighting for a job. People are trying to make money like it's a business at the end of the day. And what we saw Gardner Minshew do with the Indianapolis Colts go nine and eight last season. Um, you know, I guess Anthony Richardson started the first couple of games. Gardner Minshew went seven and six in his starts, but he almost led the Colts to a Pro Bowl or a Super Bowl. Oh my God, dude. He made a Pro Bowl. But he almost led them to the playoffs if they had taken down C.J. Stroud and the Houston Texans. But I just wish Aiden wasn't going to be the guy. But yeah, you know, Antonio Pierce is coaching for his job. Luke Getze is coaching for his job. I think especially scheme-wise, I've never had an issue with non-mobile quarterbacks. But like we saw yesterday... And like we saw in the first preseason game, you know, Gardner is able to extend plays. He is able to get first downs with his feet or just avoid sacks and just, you know, at least try and get back to the line of scrimmage. You know, he does like to kind of sling it out there. I think Aiden throws a much better ball. I think it's crisper. I think it's more beautiful. Um, I think he's just got a really smooth throwing arm. But Gardner Minshew, you know, like I said, I, the Raiders have to win. You know, we're trying to get into the playoffs here. It's been way too freaking long since the Raiders were in the playoffs. And with a defense like this, you know, folks, Josh McDaniels was the head coach of this team. And the Raiders gave up less than 20 points per game. And even though Aiden was a fourth round rookie quarterback, you got to score points. And I hate to even use such a specific example like this. The Las Vegas Raiders last year scored over 21 points three times. One of them was week six and gets the New England Patriots with Jimmy Garoppolo as the starting quarterback. And then the Chargers, where they threw up 63 points. But, you know, at that point, you're going up against Easton Stick and the Chargers just did, 
didn't have a good defense in general. The Chiefs win was awesome. It was a huge victory on Christmas Day on the road in Kansas City. But Aiden O'Connell after the first quarter actually did just about nothing. Didn't really need to do anything, but did nothing. Um, whether that was the game, the game calls, you know, whether that was just you know play calling, but I don't know. It is what it is. They still just only scored 21 points three times. And then obviously the final one was the final week of the season against Denver, where they won 27 to 14. All things considered, the fact that the Raiders went eight and nine is kind of almost a miracle because of how bad it really was with Josh McDaniels. But folks, you have Devontae Adams, you have Jacoby Meyer, you have Brock Bowers, you have Michael Mayer, you got Colton Miller, uh, you got JPJ, you got a bunch of studs on the offense. There's just playmaker after playmaker after playmaker, and Gardner Minshew. The Raiders have to win, and Gardner Minshew, you know, he proved last season, and he's proved every point in his NFL career that you know he is capable of coming in and winning football games. His rookie season with Jacksonville, 12 starts, 6-6, six and six, 21 touchdowns, 6 interceptions. Granted, that was five years ago, um, but if your defense is 20, giving up less than or about 20 points per game, you have to score more than 21. You have to score more than 20, and yeah. It's a little bit of the short end of the stick for Aiden O'Connell. I wish this wasn't announced for at least another week until the final preseason game. But that's what Antonio Pierce decided to do. And, you know, folks, I don't want it to sound like I'm all pessimistic and I'm not hopeful for the Raiders season. Um, it just sucks because future wise, future quarterback, that still is, you know, something that they've got to figure out. And it's probably not going to be figured out until a year from now, which it is what it is. But like we've been saying all offseason, like you guys know, the Raiders team is built to win right now. And if they had a more solidified, consistent, proven franchise QB, you know, this would be a legitimate contending team. I still think this is a playoff contending team. And it's not even close because it's one of the best defensive lines in the league. It's one of the best defenses in the league. And yeah, if you have a top 10 defense and your offense is around average, you're going to be a successful football team. So it is what it is. I disagree with it um, based on the sense of I wanted Aiden O'Connell to hold on to the starting job, but I don't disagree with it in the sense of you've got an injured left tackle in Colton Miller. you got JPJ working himself back. The offensive line is not going to be what it is until Colton Miller comes back in the first couple of weeks of the regular season. And, you know, Aiden – when pressure comes, you know, he's not the best. And Gardner gives you the ability to extend plays, extend drives, and uh, just, you know, pick up first downs with his feet or just find the open man because the play's been extended because he's scrambling. So I'm really curious what you guys have to say. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button if you haven't already. But, guys, give me your thoughts on Gardner Minshew being named the starting quarterback for the Las Vegas Raiders.